Hello enemies and book lovers, my name is Ashley, but you could call me Ash, and this is my May TBR video. As many of you can probably relate, I have been a bit over ambitious with my... What the heck? What month is- oh my god, it's May. Um, my May TBR, so it's a little bit ambitious. I usually read about four to six books a month, so this month I have 11. So it's not gonna happen. It's not happening. I'm not even gonna pretend. I'm hoping to get to at least half of these. Whatever I don't read, I might bring into June. I got two months of free Kindle Limited, so a lot of these are gonna be Kindle Limited books. I'm looking forward to it. So first I'm gonna show you my physical books, um, and then I'm gonna show you my ebooks. I'm not gonna show you all of my books. There's two books I will not be showing in this video. The first one is because I'm doing a video on it, and I really want to just kind of keep it a secret, I guess. <laughs> and the second one, uh, the author is a bit problematic, and I am reading her books on Libby. I don't really know if I want to talk about it. I mean, I guess I could. I just wanted to finish the series without supporting her, so I'm just gonna read it on my library app. So my, I, I could put it in the comments if you want to know, but right now I'm just gonna leave it on my video. So I'm gonna be talking about nine books in this video. So let's start with the physical books first, and then move on to the ebooks. The first book on my TBR is City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. This is the fifth book in the Mortal Instruments, and I'm so happy that I'm finally getting to the end of this series. I just, I'm kind of tired of it. I'm not the biggest fan of Mortal Instruments. I'm currently reading The Infernal Devices, and I'm enjoying it quite a lot more. This series, I'm just not loving, especially because of some of the things that happened in this series. It's just, like, not for me. I'm just looking forward to getting past these books. I'm sure most people know what these books are about because it, it, it's the Mortal Instruments. I just got late on the train. I was supposed to read these years ago and I just stopped. But I'm just going to need to continue this and hope for the best. The next book on my TBR is The Last Mortal Bond by Brian Staveley. This is the third and final book in the trilogy of the Chronicles of the Unhewn Throne. I've been reading this for a few months. I've been trying to read one a month until I got into the Greenbone Saga and then I kind of stopped. But I'm finally getting back into it. This is the final book in the trilogy. This is an adult fantasy series and I'm really, really excited about it. I also have the novella that goes with it. I think this is a novella. Uh, it's just a lot shorter. So hopefully I can also finish this and just complete the series. There is a secondary series that goes beside this one, but technically this is the final book in the trilogy. We follow three siblings. We follow one that's more heavily in politics. There's one that's heavily in religion. And then there's one that's heavily into kind of more of the action side. He rides Ketrel, which are these large hawks. How is that not cool? The first book is very heavy in character development, and then the second book kind of gets more into the plot, which is so much better. I didn't love the first book, but the second one was pretty good, and I think this one will be really good as well, so fingers crossed. And then like I said, I'll also be getting to this book, which is the novella, or like the side book. I don't really know anything about this one. I probably should, right? But I don't know if it has any spoilers, so I'm not going to read about it. I'm just going to read it once I finish The Lost Mortal Bond. The garbage truck's here. <laughs> Why? Why does this have to happen to me? The next book on my TBR is The Revenge of Magic series by James Riley. I should not be starting a new series, but here I am starting a new series. Everything else I'm reading this month is continuing a series. This is the only one I'm starting. This is a middle grade fantasy, I believe, and it sounds pretty interesting. We're following a boy named Fort, where his father goes missing when this giant thing comes out of the ground and takes him. Six months later, he goes to a school and is taught about magical books. There's a school setting, there is books of magic, there is, it just sounds cool. I've never heard anything about this book. It was kind of just on a whim. I liked the covers. I will show you the other covers of this series because they are gorgeous. I don't read much middle grade ever. This is probably my, this is my second middle grade of the entire year. So, um, and I didn't like the first one very much. So this, I'm hoping it will be great. I'm keeping keep my fingers crossed, but it seems like a really quick read. I will read the inside flap if anyone's curious, but you can just skip this if you don't care. 13 years ago, books of magic were discovered in various sites around the world, alongside the bones of dragons. Only those born after Discovery Day have the power to use the magic. It was quiet all morning. All morning. And I just started filming. Now on a vacation to Washington, D.C., Fort Fitzgerald's father is lost when a giant creature bursts through the earth, attacking the city. Fort is devastated until opportunity for justice arrives six months later when a man named when a man named Dr. Ops invites Fort to a government-run school to learn magic from those same books. But life's no easier at the school where secrets abound. What does Gia Fort's tutor know about the tax? Why does Rachel, master of destruction magic, think Fort is out to destroy the school? And why is Fort seeing memories of an expelled girl every time he goes to sleep? If Fort doesn't find out what's hiding within the Oppenheimer school, more attacks will come, and this time nothing will stop them. 
hopefully I can get into this series and not start any more series for a while. So those are my physical books. I have one more physical book. Like I said, I'm not going to be showing that book because that is my like secret book. And let's move on to my ebooks. First of my ebooks on my May TBR is The Vanishing, um, the series Lore and Lust by Carla Nicole. I actually do own the first book, so I will hold up the first book, but I am reading the second one. This cover, by the way, I literally bought this book because of the cover. This is a male-male vampire romance between Haruka and Nino, and it is pretty freaking precious. The author is also amazing. I've talked to them on Instagram, they've actually like messaged me, and we kind of had like a little tiny discussion about Haruka. Uh, it was really freaking cute. They are so sweet, and I would recommend reading it. I think I gave this a three stars for the first book, so I don't know how I'm gonna do with the second one, but I'm still looking forward to it. Like, it was still enjoyable. So Haruka, which is the guy on this cover, he's kind of the more like serious type, and then Nino is kind of just like the sweet, precious type. And we are following Haruka, who is a pure blood vampire, and he sets, he seeks out Nino, who is also another pure blood vampire. And uh, there's just a romance that bestows upon there. There's, of course, there's a little bit of plot with the vampires, and there is some backstory between the characters and it's pretty sweet. So I'm looking for the second book. I've read this like two years ago or something around there. So it is about time I finally get to the second book. The next book I'll be reading is Force Bonds by Jay Bree. This is the fourth book in the Ties That Bond series. And I am obsessed with the series, which is kind of weird. This is a bully romance and reverse harem. I love RH, so there's no complaints with me there. The first book is a pretty heavy on the bully romance. So just be careful if you're gonna go into the series. I read this series so fast. Like I read the first two books within I think two to three days, which for me is unheard of. The third book I just finished like two days ago, I think. The fifth book will be coming out in June. Unfortunately, my Kindle Limited expires just before it comes out. So I'm probably gonna have to get it eventually again, but this is the fourth book. We're following, I think five men and one female character. The female character runs away from her bonds, which are the name of it's kind of like another version of mate, but they're called bonds in this book. And she runs away from them and they believe that the reason why she ran away was because she just didn't want to be around them. So they're all horrible to her, but there's actually more reason to it than that. I shouldn't love bully romances because of my past with bullying. I should hate it. I should hate bully romance, but no. I read this book not knowing it was a bully romance and I loved it. It is weird. This kind of introduced me into that subgenre and I am not mad about it. There is a little bit of content warnings. I have it in on my Goodreads for the first book. The first book has one of the characters do something that I do not like. So this author puts cliffhangers on the end of every single book. Why? Why? The next book is The Reckoning, which is the third, I believe, book in the Vampire... No, it's not Vampire Academy. Oops. The third book in the Zodiac Academy. This series I have mixed feelings about, but honestly I'm having fun with it. This series it's also a bully romance, ironically enough, but it is not a reverse harem, which I feel like is a lost cause, because it has a lot of potential for it, but nope, here we are. In this series we're following twins, uh, Tori and Darcy, and they go to this Zodiac Academy school, and they are taught there with these douchebag men that just bully them because they're powerful and they are intimidated. Go along the way, they discover their powers and we're watching them throughout the series, I'm hoping, kind of discover themselves because we don't know what type of supernatural being they are and no one else does. And I'm very curious because I also want to know who ends up with who. I'm not gonna, no spoilers, but I'm excited. So the first book I did not really like, the second book kind of got better and I'm assuming and I've been told that they get better as it goes so I am pumped about that. The next book is Lover and Shrine by J.R. Ward. This is a paranormal romance series that's mostly focusing on vampires and um, it's long to say the least. J.R. Ward for some reason writes like there's no tomorrow. So this series technically has other series attached to it kind of. There's like other series that kind of correlate with it but Kind of not. I don't really know how it works because I haven't started those side series because they all are integrated. It's confusing. Point is, this series has about, if you add the sub series with it, there's like 30 something books. I think like 34 books, 30, 32 books. Yeah. Right now I have 28 books and she's probably still reading, she's still writing more. So it, I'll never catch up. I don't know if I'll actually stick with this series, but for now, I think this is the fifth book or the sixth book. I'm losing track at this point. We follow a different character in the Black Dagger Brotherhood, and each book usually is a different character. I know this is kind of vague, but every single book is different because they're following different 
romances so it's a little hard to kind of talk about what these books are about they're all kind of following different things it's pretty much just a vampire and then there's a woman and then they become mate like oh they're my mate that's pretty much the entire series and the last book on this list that i'm kind of ashamed to talk about i do plan on doing a video on this because i just think it'd be fun and that is barbarian alien by ruby dixon this is the second book i have read the first book i think i gave it like a two stars i did not like it but the thing is it, it was fun it was fun and i love talking to my boyfriend about it my boyfriend knows more about it than i feel like he should considering he's never read it he thinks it's hilarious i feel like i need to talk to people about this series so i'm gonna just read the second book make a video on it and just have fun i don't plan on reading it to hate on it i really don't i like romance i love paranormal romance like fantasy romance as you can tell like all these books on my kindle limited are pretty much paranormal or fantasy romance so i don't hate that genre it's just this it's just ice pond variants. If you don't know about the series, we're pretty much following these women who are on this ship or spaceship and they crash land on a planet where they find these huge blue dudes and they decide to sleep with them. Pretty much that's it. I don't really know what else to say about it. I will be doing a video for the Ice Planet Barbarians book and I will be doing a video for the secret book that I have planned. So those are the books that I'm planning to read in May. 100% I'm not reading all of them. I'm definitely going to bring some of them into June. A lot of the Kindle Unlimited ones I'll definitely bring into June. Um, a lot of my physical books I'm going to be reading because a lot of them are library books. Let me know if you've read any of these books or what you're reading in May as well. Let me know a little bit about your TBRs and how ambitious you're being because I don't know what's up with May, but I feel like a lot of people are being ambitious in May. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. This is my second video I've ever done and I'm just still getting used to it, but I just appreciate everyone that's watching. I hope you have a great reading month. I hope you have a great day and happy reading in May.